seen lots of pictures tweeted at me of like, hey, your face passed me on the bus three times today. I'm like, that's so cool. I, A, am not getting paid for it, and B, I think it's swell, so awesome. I actually saw Jimmy's face on a big bus stop at a bus stop, and so I went to take a picture to send him, and annoyingly a bus went past it, but his same face. <laughs> Right there. A little excessive. And no yeah. Wendell bus. But no Wendell bus. Yes, yeah, so you're gonna take that up with Matt, right? So okay. Ellery, have you but seen uh, have you seen any of the big posters yet? Uh I get text messages every once in a while. I I I think they painted one in New York. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, it's massive. and it took a couple days, so like people like know for they focus on my nose for like two days. <laughs> Picture of it where it's just your eyes and just your nose. Yeah, it's just your face. <laughs> it's just <laughs> <Super long. laughs> creepy. <laughs> So in terms of season three, obviously it's, a, it's bigger and better than anything we've ever had before. We're halfway through the season. What can you give away right now? What are you guys most excited about with the, the final three episodes ever of the show? Well, so we, we finally get to do some drift racing uh, yeah. this, this season around. And, uh, so every season before this, we were doing car racing like one-on-one -on -one because that was kind of the most that we could afford, the most that we were comfortable with. And this season we're like, all right, well we have to do like a full-on like race race. So we need to have more than just like one car versus another car. So we do a five-car drift race. And the funny thing about this is we spent months trying to find a place to do that. It's very yeah. difficult to find a place to like where you can just drive around and do car racing. And so we were north of LA, we were in El Tejon, we were south of San Diego, we were just looking everywhere, driving around like hours at a time just to try to find a place where we could do car races. And then finally someone was like, have you tried uh, Griffith Park? <laughs> well, what, what do you mean? Like, well, there's like a bunch of roads in Griffith Park, they shot all the Fast, like they shot Fast and Furious there, they've done a bunch of movies there. Like, well, how come nobody told us this? We've been trying, we've been looking for drift racing places for three years. <laughs> like, yeah, you should look, and we look, and that's where we end up shooting. And we're like, we are idiots. If there's any, if there's any indication that we have no idea what we're doing, take the fact that it took us three years to figure out that the most obvious place to do a car race, aka the largest park in LA, aka where everything is shot in LA. We were like, nah, nothing there. Let's move on. They just horses and, and haunted hay rides. <laughs> we actually have a little bit of a clip of us tearing up uh, Griffith Park a little bit. You guys want to see that? Yeah. 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 All right, let's roll that second let's clip. Second. I do. Episode five. <laughs> Transmission. Nobody on our cast no drive manual transmission. <laughs> I think the like, like, was like, we gotta move the car. Hey, Jimmy, just hop in. Oh, right. Okay, okay. Hold on. We'll wait. We'll wait for something. Griffith Park is crazy. Here's the, here's... Making fun of us. Let's talk about how good you do donuts, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. There's a scene in episode two. Actually, man, you can we, talk we about this. We spent a whole night getting. Freddie was like, "Don't worry, I can, I can do this, guys. I can do donuts in our parking lot." Really, really gorilla shoot. We just got a ladder up. We just put a ladder up in the parking lot. Freddie's like, "I got this, guys." An hour and a half of being on top of the ladder, watching Freddie fail miserably at donuts. Almost hitting the ladder. Almost hitting the telephone pole. Didn't skid once. We put it in, and Freddie's like, "It's fine, guys. We just leave this in the episode. It looks totally fine." I said, "Look, like, we'll just add like CG smoke. Yeah. <laughs> that makes it look like I'm actually doing donuts." So we always show the episodes to like our cast and crew and various people to get notes on it. And literally every single person for episode two like had one note like, "It's a really good episode." 
that part where the car does donuts is really, really bad. We need to fix that. So we had to hire stunt guys and have a whole other shoot and do it. And Freddie wasn't there that day either. So we had to do a whole other shoot and redo the whole thing that Freddie did by himself. The director's cut of uh, that scene will be available on the Blu-ray. Proper donut uh, uh, scene in place, unaltered by my uh, co-creators. So we, when, we, when we shot this in Griffith Park, um, and Matt can talk a little bit about this, but so Griffith Park people, who's hiked Griffith Park? Like, gone up there, yeah. Okay, a lot of people have. That's actually more than yeah, I was expecting, yeah. Um, people are hardcore, like, so we, this is an act, these are active trails, and I don't know if you've been in this area, but you can walk along these roads. So when it came time to shoot, there was like, okay, you're gonna need a cop, and you need like PAs, and you need people standing at all the entrances where the trails go in and out of the road to stop them, so that they don't like walk onto the road and get run over by a car doing a sick drift. <laughs> and so we're sitting there, and we're like, okay, cool, and like, we're like, all right, you guys ready to shoot? Ready to shoot? Okay, cool. Let's, uh, you know, down the road. Okay, call them and let's hold traffic. And then, okay, Roger, there's two cops on both ends of where we're shooting, this section of the road. And then they go, like, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, we got some bikers coming through. We're like, what? Like, the bikers just wouldn't stop? They're like, no, they just blew through it. And there's like road bikers in the middle of our, like, stuff, which is like, sh like shaved legs, spandex, just blowing right <laughs> through it. And like, when we did the, uh, we, you may have seen it, we, we showed this on Conan, but we did, the, we did the car flip, and afterwards, there's like, it looks like an accident has happened on these roads. Like, a car is upside down, there's debris everywhere, and all these bikers would just be like, shh. And I'm like, well, what happened here? And whatever. I just keep going. And I'm like, these guys are insane. They're so into this. Like, even to the point where they'd be like, they'd get, and there'd be broken glass everywhere. And the first reaction wasn't like, well, I should stop. Like, maybe someone's hurt here. This looks like a car accident. The first reaction was, I need to get off my bike and then carry my bike because I don't want to get a tire puncture. And then they'll walk their bike, pass it, and then get back on and keep going. So, like, so bikers are good with park, man. Super hardcore. The, the fitness gurus are tough. But Having done PA work, the fitness gurus are the people you stay away from when you need to lock down an area. It, it's it's horrifying. Now you, you talk you're talking about all the all the hurdles you had to get past while shooting the drift racing in the action. What were more of the hurdles? What was the hardest thing besides the manual problem that all of us actors had in the I, vehicle? I think I can actually speak to that. Um, the day of, I volunteered my car and they oh. drove a quadcopter into it. <laughs> Wait, so, yep. That, that was the hardest for me personally. <laughs> and it was going to be on the blooper reel. It was the beginning. We were so pumped. Five cars. We're going to start with all these sweet aerial shots. We have this big drone. We got a, we got a big camera on top of it. All right, first shot. 6 a.m. Super anime, super speed racer. Here we go. We're going to fly from the top of the mountain, go down onto the road, move across the cars. Perfect. No, remember, we no, like, no issue. We were like, Matt. Ben's car, the one car we can't, we can't hurt. Yeah, yeah. A personal car. Personal no, car. we're just putting the front. Not a problem. These are professionals flying this drone. Like, Ben, wait till you see the shot. It's going to start 400 feet in the air. Their car is the coolest looking car on YouTube. And we start moving, and we see that the, the top that comes flies, comes over the mountain. We have to oh my god, this, this is sick. This is our career. Sick. We are Michael so Bay at this moment. We can do this. This is sick as shot. Watching the, we start watching the drone grow across the road. My god, this is going perfectly. The also, we just hear. Helicopter instantly flips 180, crashes onto the road, and slams right into Ben's car. <laughs> Breaks our camera. Camera uh, broken. Camera broken. Lens broken. So we're stuck with GoPros for essentially the rest of the shoot. So if the sound of the This is, by the way, this is like, you want, to, you want to talk about like on set dynamics? How do you inspire your crew? Take the first shot of the day and crash a $1,400 drone into another crew member's car. That's what gets everybody on the same page. I was like, all right, let's do this. We go. <laughs> How many, how many of our own vehicles did we end up using this season? Like three or four was the count. Well, here's right? the best part. Okay, so That's that ridiculous. last so that last stunt, right, where it's like the car goes, the car slides out, it goes in front. So Ben, like I, I'm putting my, I'm like putting my life on the line. I'm on the motorcycle holding the thing. That car is like feet away from me, right? Any timing, because remember that car, that shot starts. 400 feet up the road. So the other car, needs to, they need to coordinate with the stunt guys, coordinate exactly when the other car starts so that it shows up exactly behind them. I'm putting my life on the line here, right? And this car, and we have to do it multiple times. Every time I look over and Ben is on the side of the, uh, on the, side of the road, just like. <laughs> Not about Freddie's life, that's the point. No. Just about his car. He's super concerned about his car. It's okay, Ben, your car's fine now. I think the hardest thing You're just leasing it anyway. loves his car. Yes, Zion. Yes, Zion. Zion, come on. The least. Hang on, Zion. 
Matt. I was gonna say the actual episode two, the the arcade uh, crash is actually just by the all the crashes and explosions and everything that was sick. That's probably the hardest shoot. And also it's just because logistically it's incredibly difficult to find a road in LA. Yeah. And so that's why it's actually really difficult. And then also just because logistically it's incredibly difficult to find a road in LA that let you drag an arcade machine <laughs> behind a car. And that's also the hardest part because how do you stop the arcade machine? Like right, you do a take. Cut, stop the car, the arcade machine's just tethered to it by a chain, goes crashing the car, or the, the air to run behind it so you can grab it. No, so there's a there's a parking brake on the arcade machine hidden, so the moment that it's done, the stunt guy runs up, jumps into it, and yanks the parking brake. No. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. This is so dangerous. Yeah. But they let us do it. Yeah. Action factory. Actors, I want to ask you guys what the hardest part was, because nobody cares about boring logistical stuff like blowing up Ben's car except for Ben. So what, what was for you guys the most difficult part of this season? Why me? I'll talk. You're an actor. Yeah. I'll talk. Act like you know. I'm an actor. Uh, I think for me, coming, I came in, Ashley Pine Stormer was introduced in a four minute clip at the end of season two. <laughs> and then I personally heard nothing for seven months and then got the scripts right before the table read. And so coming in, because uh, this, this is a family, it's a team, a crew, but also a family on top of that. So, so working with all these guys and seeing how well they work together, I just wanted to show up, do my job, and not get in the way, um, which I hope I did. Oh, good, okay, very good. Um, but uh, for me, not breaking. A lot of this um, not breaking, like doing a lot of scenes. It was so funny. With, well, I can. <laughs> Brian. Uh, Brian uh, having a lot of scenes with, with Nathan and, and, and Chase and stuff. And just the scenes we do, we're wearing bow ties, we're corporate, you know, tycoons, we're 16, we're like, his last name is Pizza, my last name is Barnstormer. Like, what, what are we doing with our lives? So basically, taking the job seriously. That's taking the hard job part. seriously, yeah, is, is to actually treat it like a job. And not just be like, I can't believe we're doing this, this is the greatest yeah. thing ever. And having the best time with the best people ever. So that was, it was difficult sometimes, you have to yeah. buckle down and like, learn words and stuff. I'll, I'll give a two-part answer. I'll give a two-part answer. Um, <laughs> Clichely, I think one of the hardest parts... Is that a parts... word? Hold on. Clichely. Clichely. You get a dictionary. It's, it's, 40, it's 40 points in Scrabble. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There we go. Yeah. Uh, the web uh, point of startup. Clichely, uh, I, the hardest part was knowing going on to set, knowing it was the last season. I, I love these people. It's so fun. And we have so much fun on set. And knowing that was really hard. But probably working with Cheeto, the cat, uh, was so friggin' hard, <laughs> and I got cut up so much, um, and didn't get a bump in the rain. But if you if you watch the clip where you grab him, it's like I found the cat. It's I like, couldn't hold him for a they, second. They cut it like the frame before it, like all hell breaks. He was just like going. Yeah! <laughs> uh, but great, great cat actress. Great. Cat. If you need a cat actress, call Cheeto. She's Actor. Actor. Maybe, Actor. Maybe that's worth it. Oh, that's Actor. what it was. I always thought it was a girl. That's why. <laughs> Check. Sorry, Cheeto, wherever you are. He's hiding. <laughs> um, uh, uh, I'd say the hardest part for me was probably, like... <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, episode four has a lot of pretty intense scenes that took me a lot of... I was very sort of racked with nerves going up to it. Uh, but you guys will see that next week. Unless you've already seen it. Uh, so that was very hard. Also, I'd say going in the first day, like the first thing after not being in BGHS, was like, all right, Jimmy, you're gonna get in a fight with Josh, he's gonna break your nose. <laughs> it's like, all right, let's do it. And it was like one of the first scenes that we shot. It's like, all right, Jimmy, you gotta get there. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> haven't been Ted for a while. So I think getting back into it. But once the engine started going again, it, it, it was all gravy. Not the ski doo not, not No, ski -doo. that ski doo was not hard. It was a lot of fun. For me, the hardest part was like the getting into it. It was the letting go after you're done, yeah. like at the end of the day. And you know, you think about you get this, you start getting the strips. They're rolling in. You're so excited. It's not often you get to play a character over and over again. And you know, you get like two or three takes or more if you're lucky. And you have to go <laughs> home and be like, I just blacked out. Like, what happened? <laughs> oh no! And the noir episode is like shot. It's over. It'll never happen again. And you just wish you could go back in time. We also, we all were wrapped at different times. So yeah. Like, I was wrapped before. I still don't know if I'm wrapped yet, honestly. Are. We're not. <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy, because he's Freddy's brother, has the unfortunate yeah, situation that we always are just like, we can just shoot it later at Freddy's house with Jimmy, it doesn't matter. <laughs> like, never, like, we wrap somebody, like we wrap, you know, we wrap Brendan, people come out and cry and give him a cake and hug. We wrap Ellery, people, the whole crew's there. 
Jimmy, I think I'll grab like in his kitchen with me and Freya's. We're complaining about his magic cards on the counter. Like, whatever, Jimmy, you're done. That's it, you're never playing this character again. Like, Jimmy just never gets a real rap. That's the problem with the rap problem. I think we, uh, we officially rap me outside of a burger restaurant. And then I drove home. Can we get an official season three rap for Jimmy Walker? <laughs> 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 Jimmy. Thank you, I appreciate Your it. Your basket's in the mail, Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy, we do need you to reshoot some stuff, though, so don't go anywhere. Okay. On the contrary, you're, you're, you're we available for some. We got some reshoots we got? Okay, good, good. Yeah, reshoots. And on the day I was wrapping, I got to put some money in the one Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I am that oh. so, so, so one of the things that's, that was a lot of fun this season uh, was that the... We got to bring some more people into the action. Uh, oh, yes. No, no spoilers. Oh, we do have a clip. You want to play that one? Do you want to play first or after? Because we have it. That's, that's oh. called setting up. It's the <laughs> Oh, we have it. Oh, oh we got we it. Get to, we, everybody gets a little bit. Brendan actually gets to, well, here, we'll, 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 we'll play a couple of times. We'll talk about it. Okay, we'll show the clip from episode six here now. schedules for that. But, uh, so I was going to say my favorite part about shooting action with you, uh, Brennan, was that so th that, that take starts, it's a single take, and that starts with a car drifting in, which means we already have limited takes because you can't just drift a car all day. This was um, awesome. And so as it's coming in, so like Brent, you got more and more excited <laughs> as time went on. So at first it was car like, eh, stop, door opens, comes out, fight scene, pans off. I was like, all right, hold on, hold on, we messed up, take two. And I was just like, every take that happened, you were like opening the door sooner and sooner until there is a take where we were like, before we pulled you back, where it's like the car is still mid-drift, <laughs> door opens, you jump out as the car is still sliding and you're screaming, you're like, bring it! All right, don't, please don't get run over by the car. Like, just slow down. It's okay, it's cool, don't worry, it's intense. Just wait for the car to stop before you open Michael the door. Michael never left his door room, so the minute he got out, he went nuts! <laughs> <laughs> that take took, that took, that was like half of the day, wasn't it? Yeah. That yeah. one yeah. shot yeah. right there? We, we did yeah. a lot of rehearsal, though, That's so like, it wasn't us failing, it was like, we had to rehearse to make sure the four shots were not. Well, poor Freddie, you had a ridiculous rig oh, on that day, right? No, well, so we I have a, um, <laughs> and unfortunately, I don't, you know, I don't have a picture yeah, of it. Yeah, talk a little bit how you shot that. So we have, uh, this year we use uh, camera stabilization thing called the Movi, and the Movi is like a, um, it essentially it's like, it, it's, it's the same gimbal that they use in like drone shots, where it like stabilizes uh, the camera, but it's handheld. And the funny thing about that is, is it's, it's perfectly smooth, right? So you can like jump around and it'll, it'll stay like smooth and level. And so that's how we shot that. It wasn't a mistake, it was a Moby. And like the best part about it is that's so smooth is that you can fall while holding it and you can just eat it. And you won't ever tell from the footage. And super, oh, we don't have that clip. But literally, I was, I remember, there's one take where as I'm running, and you know what? If we could, is it, hold on. Is there, can we just play this? And can I shout pause at a certain point? I need to point out something. Can we play that no. clip again and just You're getting a no. no. You're getting a no. 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 Hard no. That was a hard no. It's a tape. We have to rewind <laughs> it, actually. Uh, no, hold on. It's a there's a single, there's a single, like, concrete block, like, about this big, 
just oh, in the yeah. in the ground. And like I was right, I'm like, oh, look for that. I hope I don't trip over that. We'll just keep an eye and not make sure I trip that. Guess who trips over it? Guess who trips over it super hard? And, like, and also, it's surrounded by completely flat concrete. There's just like a little tiny like thing. And so as I'm going, I I, I trip in over and I fall. And I'm holding the camera up, but then I'm like, oh man, that's gonna be so hilarious when we see the footage. And we see the footage because this stabilization device is so good. So I fall. And it's just like. Super smooth. <laughs> it just looks like you just like screwed up the shot. It's like, oh, here's the shot. It's like, oh, it's over here. <laughs> I wasn't even, I wasn't even like. It was so disappointing because I wanted like a shot. <laughs> yep, no, not even, not even close. So that was, it was a lot of fun to be able to do action with, with everybody. That was four entire days. You saw a snippet of the biggest uh, explosion that we ever, that we've ever done, and that we're gonna do. You saw a little bit of it in the trailer. But um, the best part about that was I, 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 I talked to someone and they were like, oh cool, you guys are doing a, a show. Like, uh, and we're talking about blowing stuff up. And I'm like, oh, we did an explosion in Slash Show. Let me show you. And I had the clip on my phone. And I played it the clip. And his reaction was, that's cool. So did you guys like, like did you guys get permission to do that? <laughs> we're like, yeah. It was pretty big. And he's like, oh, that's crazy. It's crazy you guys have to get permission for that. It's like, it wasn't, like, you just saw an oil refinery blow up. Like, it was 200 gallons of gasoline. And your immediate assumption is, you can just sneak this one by. <laughs> it's okay, we'll just spend three minutes. It's okay, no one will know. Just quick, do it. We gotta get out of here, guys. We just blew this thing up. And the best part about this is, is, is a big, like, uh, oil refinery in Santa Fe Springs. And we're like, well, how great would it be if we just sent someone on the street? Like with their Snapchat on their phone, and they just walk in that street like, "Hey guys, what's up? Just chilling out here." And then like, as that's happening, and then having to like, "Whoa, what was that?" And it explodes behind them, and just and just and act like this was just like, "Yeah, this was just me walking on the street with my Snapchat." And we didn't do that. We did some other thing that we will put a clip out when when episode six comes out. That's like the funniest thing ever that we did. But after it blew up, after it blew up, I got on Twitter. Like, I was like, please tell me someone in this area tweeted about this explosion that we just did. And there was one tweet. <laughs> there was one tweet from a person and they said, hey, did anyone else just hear that in Santa Fe Springs? It sounded like a giant explosion. <laughs> and then I was like, okay, this, I got this kid. The next tweet was just like, anyway, I wonder what like, hey, else on TV tonight. I was like, no, this, 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 just, they heard it and I was like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Which means that social media will not save us when the apocalypse happens. <laughs> it, could have been, it could have been just, it could have been nuclear apocalypse. Like, yeah, they could like, anyone, hear that? Does anyone smell that? What's, no, what's no, Castle no. on tonight? <laughs> See the flash? Can't wait for the new flash. <laughs> Speaking on explosions, we talked a little bit earlier about what was the hardest part to film, but obviously this show's a ton of fun. It's way more fun than it is anything hard or ridiculous. So let's talk a little bit about what you had the most fun the past four years making this show. What have you enjoyed the most, Jimmy? I have personally enjoyed uh, the entire sort of cast and crew that have stuck around since season one, um, and the ones that joined us along the way. Because it's like a big family, and it's great because we've been able to work with, you know, the same director of photography, same behind the scenes camera person, and same, you know, just basically the whole crew has been there since season one, which is great. And being able to watch the crew grow and evolve and get bigger together has been a blast. Uh, definitely what Jimmy said. Also, acting with Ellery has been amazing. Uh, yes. I love it. Um, and, but my favorite probably had to have been um, that being able to go outside. And do, like, Wendell doesn't go out of the door. <laughs> And that was so amazing to be able to, to fight and, and learn choreography and stuff. It was really neat. Also, thank you for Matt and Freddie. You guys, it, a lot of projects I work on and TV shows and whatnot, you get very little creative control with your characters or you don't get another scene if you don't feel it was good or whatnot. They, they're very actory directors and they gave us a lot to work with and they also gave us a lot of creative control. I got to make up my character and stuff. That was really awesome. And From scratch, every line you made up. I, I wrote the series. Uh, you were, you wrote the character. Like, we, Brett, like, Wendell was just like a single joke in, in one episode, in episode in season two originally. Wendell came to, look, look, look at Brennan over here. He came to try out as a thug. Like, <laughs> like as a bodyguard for the same, same role. We were auditioning for the same parts. It's not gonna happen. Well. He comes in and he's like, hey guys, like, oh my god, turn around. 
go get the script for Wendell. <laughs> he just he literally said that. I think he even had the, the, yeah, the like, thing. He was like, you got this, just so you know you have to roll. <laughs> yeah, I was like, you like, already have the part, just go read it for me. Just to make sure. He read it, we're like, great. And then I, I showed, I think I showed Will, like, the footage. They were like, we have to write so many more lines <laughs> yeah, for this guy. Yeah, it's, well, it's always, that's always exciting when an, an actor comes in and just knocks your socks off. It's just like, okay, yes, it's a, this is a thing now. Yeah. Actually, I think it's, we're in a weird thing where I think all four of you essentially did that. Like, some yeah. actors are oh, essentially yeah. like, all right, we wrote, you know, Jenny, we wrote Brian, we tried to find the right actor. We obviously wrote for Jimmy because we knew he was going to be in it. <laughs> Brian, same exact thing. He came in just for a stuntman. Yeah. He, he came in with just a line. Was, with a line. With a line. With a line. The, he came line? in with a ton of swagger and charm. We're like, turn around, go read, <laughs> go read Ashley Barnstormer. You ripped it out of your binder. I think Freddie actually looked at you and said, you don't want to do that now, do you? <laughs> <laughs> He's here. And he was like, all right, well, I'm gonna do it. And then we ended up making the entire third season of him yeah. the bad guy. <laughs> Which was like, like frankly, like a lot more kind of cliche. Like, he was garbage until yeah. Ellery read the part, and then we we're like, we have to rewrite this character. She literally, this actress. She literally she acted in so much bad. Yeah, she acted like yeah. 180 from everybody else, and we're like, we're all bad writers. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna hire her and yeah. rewrite and the part for fix her. Fix the script. Yeah. So yeah, we we didn't do anything. You four essentially made all four of those characters. Thank you. And I know. Well, even, <laughs> well, even Benji, because. Back in the first season, uh, sir, actually, yeah. you were you have to put up your audition tape. There is a 10 minute audition tape where he already had the part, by the way, but we were messing with it because he was living with us. Mean. Yeah. Yeah, and he was like, he was so desperate. He's like, guys, I need this part. And then his brother was like, aren't you going to tell him you already had the part? He needed a job. Yeah. And, and we were like, no, we're not going to tell him yet. Are you kidding? Like, there's no way we were going to tell him. And you, we made you send an audition tape to us. I lived by in the way, apartment. By the way, I lived in and no, it is the best my own apartment. And he by was the way, shooting the audition tape no behind home. our apartment. Oh, here's the best part. Yeah. No one else sent an audition tape. No one. <laughs> It was, by the way, he didn't just send it, it was, it was an audition tape, and then it was his resume. Oh, okay. And the resume was like Benji Dolly, and then it was like, there was two things on it. One was just, it was like skills, all, and then like I training, ultimate. Ultimate. Training. 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 Ultimate. training, ultimate. Training, ultimate. I gave you my resume as well. And, and the training, like, he's got ultimate. it. And you see them when we were writing, and we were writing in the apartment. We'd take over the living room and write. Yeah. And he would come up, we would like come in the morning, be making breakfast, and we'd be like, oh, this game's Dean line. What would be a good line? Hey, Benji, what's a good line for this character? You're funny. You would say, like, cool. Don't know if you got the part yet, though. Yeah. <laughs> so, you had already given everyone their parts. They've been coming over to like practice and read with each other. You were doing like chemistry tests with Josh and Johanna and every morning. You're still writing the rest of the show, and I'm just like, well, I guess everybody got uh, Greg got a job. <laughs> just uh, trying to find a nice way to tell me I didn't get it. It's gonna be so a this weird part. We were putting up your audition tape because it is. It's, it's great. really incredible. It's 10 minutes of pure insanity. It's him doing all the lines from season one multiple times and multiple impressions. None of them were games Dean's lines, I don't think. I, I did, oh I did God, everyone I else's that. lines. I, I, I did them all yeah, really every long, character really in poorly. The and, and everything drew just drew on really long. Because De Des, you know, he was like, hey, he, no matter what, you're, you're either going to be good, you're going to be bad, but we at least want him, we want him to remember you. <laughs> and he's like, so win or lose, as long as they remember how ridiculous this is, they'll give you something. And I was like, all right, sweet. It was incredible. So the moment he talked, we knew you were going to get the part, but we just yeah, that was cool. <laughs> I appreciate that. It was nice of you. But we're almost out of time here, so I figure I'll give you guys, we have three more episodes. It's the final three episodes of the season, of the series. So I'll give you a three words, three word synopsis. Give the fans a three word synopsis for what's in store. Sorry to put you on the spot. We're gonna just keep with the theme. Depressing, nihilistic, and explosions. <laughs> well, okay. It's three words in a row. Life. <laughs> <laughs> Just say life twice more. Life. <laughs> Is that two? two. Life. <laughs> Evil eyebrow domination. <laughs> I, and I hyphenated. Double um, mic. Double mic. There we go. Pixels. Screams. And <laughs> video. <laughs> Going all out. <laughs> Sorry, no more. <laughs> Please don't pirate. Um, I, I got, I got two. One, one doesn't count. One is all about the game. 
And there was so many feels. Yeah. So many feels. Uh, ben Waller rules. <laughs> I was actually going to say, uh, McCheese doesn't return. <laughs> uh, McCheese hardly. is a character that Ben plays for one tiny moment in season one. Uh, well, you guys, just a real, real quick reminder, for those of you who saw season one, Ben, why don't you recite the one line your character had? Oh, yeah. Say it. I can do it. I can do it. We should all do our versions of Ben's line. Okay, okay everybody three, do their version one, of Ben's line. Two, right, at the three. same time, break, break the law. law! There you go. That's it. That's it. We did, however, hope to cheese up. We sent, uh, he's in the FPS. They needed, for the marketing team, they needed playoff statistics from all the schools so we made McCheese one of the big rivals. Yeah. Best if there's if there is so if there's a good right? enough McCheese fan fiction, we'll adapt it into <laughs> a Christmas special. Yeah. Alright, well that about wraps it up. I'll I'll throw out my three word uh, synopsis. I'm just gonna go with holy shit. <laughs> the third season's fantastic. All three seasons are fantastic. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for hanging out. Everybody's gonna apparently Freddy's excited with that one. I think we're gonna be doing some signings over there. We're going to be signing to tables one through five. Awesome. So and also, on, if, you're fan of, uh, if you're a fan of what Jimmy does his music, you guys can check out his Indiegogo page. And yeah. Show. Make it happen. Musical comedy. It's called Band Aid. Mm. All right. I tweet about it very often. So. <laughs> yeah, I block him. Oh. So, thank you guys for stopping by, and we'll see you over at the tables. Thank you.